Welcome to the Frederick County Public Schools Virtual Art Show. We hope you enjoy these creations by art students from each of Frederick County's elementary, middle, and high schools. During the creation process of this piece, Hunter Master Pietro learned about the various ways warm and cool colors could be used within a work of art. After analyzing artwork from various artists to identify these colors and their subject matter, Hunter decided to produce an abstract landscape scene. Hunter is a third grade student at Armel Elementary School. Arts and Design 1 students at James Wood High School studied the celebration of the Days of the Dead which takes place in Mexico. After creating a contour line drawing of a skull, students added pattern, designs, and color inspired by the celebration. Ninth grader Olivia Gwinner decorates her skull drawing with elaborate patterns of scrolls, dots, and intricate line work in black and white ink. She framed the drawing with repeating patterns in the negative space. Kindergartner Riley Chapman created this winter tree collage by using different watercolor techniques for the background and tissue paper painting for the trees. She used a metallic marker to create her tree shapes and branches. She then cut and glued her trees to finish her collage. Riley is a student at Apple Pie Ridge Elementary. Caitlin Salyer has transformed Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night into her own rendition using acrylic paint. Her use of silhouettes against the ominous background captures the mystery and intrigue she portrays in this painting. Caitlin is a seventh grade student at Frederick County Middle. Millbrook High Advanced Design students used a variety of methods to give new life to old materials. Senior Lindsay Greer cut pages to create an image with depth, using space and not the traditional use of value. Watercolor and ink work was added for detail and emphasis. Amaya Smith, a first grader at Bass Hoover Elementary School, created a piece of art showing herself and her two sisters. Amaya started by drawing the faces with crayon and then used a paintbrush for the clothes, arms, and legs. She added colorful details with tempera paint and a light blue paper for the sky to complete her painting. Perla Ponce Fabian, an eighth grader taking Art One at James Wood Middle, created this treehouse drawn in two-point perspective. By lining up carefully with the vanishing points, she created the illusion of 3D objects. Perla colored it with pencils to give it the effect of atmospheric perspective. The artwork on this mannequin was created by sophomore Durrani Katavi and was based on characters from the Alice in Wonderland story. Durrani used a Sharpie marker to create lines depicting characters and objects and finishing the composition with a watercolor wash. Evan Sidlowski is a kindergarten student at Evendale Elementary. To complete this landscape, Evan learned how to break up the ground and sky with line variety. Colors of the changing sky and shadows of animals, trees, and other objects were observed and added to complete this peaceful image.
Seventh grade select art student Jillian Richards created a self-portrait using the grid method of drawing. In one half of her portrait, she explored the use of zentangles to fill the space and make her portrait more personal. In class, Jillian learned about the identity through the creation of self-portraits and why artists all throughout history have created self-portraits. James Wood High School senior Allison Bradfield demonstrates her mastery of pencil in this realistically rendered selfie drawing entitled Surprise. Arts and Design 1 students at James Wood High School studied and practiced shading techniques, then used a grid system to create an enlarged pencil drawing of a chosen image. Her close attention to detail and expert application of pencil make this drawing both highly technical and fun. In this underwater painting, fourth grader Caitlin Riddle from Gainesboro Elementary showed her knowledge of color theory. She carefully added small amounts of blue paint to her white to create the tints, and small amounts of black to her blue to create the shades for her deep sea background. She then used chalk pastels to add sea creatures. Tori Fry, a student in Art 1 at Admiral Byrd Middle School, worked to create the illusion of value. Tori used complex patterns in this pop art inspired scratchboard artwork. Copper, brass, and aluminum are the metal sheets sophomore Alex Lopez used to create this high-relief artwork. His advanced design class at Millbrook High School combined traditional metal embossing, or repose, with pop-up book techniques to assemble a variety of projects using sheet metal. Mexican folk art wood carvings provided the inspiration for this wall plaque created by Greenwood Mill second grader Josiah Pico. After viewing examples of Mexican folk art, he used patterns and colors found in the carvings to make a tempera painting of an animal. The completed painting was cut out and glued to a wooden plaque he made from craft sticks. Abby Brewer's sculpture titled Dark Side of an Angel depicts a sense of prominence and leaves the viewer wanting to know more. Her use of feathers and her cardboard base, all in black acrylic paint, adds to the mystery of the piece. Abby is an eighth grade student at Frederick County Middle School. Senior Jill Rosenberger created this graphite drawing from a photograph she took of a flower. She first drew the flower using a grid and then applied a range of light and dark values to create dimension and depth. Drawing and painting students at Sharando High School learned about the different types of lead in graphite pencils, as well as different tools and techniques for creating a smooth gradation from light. Brianna Snyder completed atmospheric perspective by successfully mixing her own palette of tints and shades of yellow. She used her palette to show depth by emphasizing that what is in the distance is lighter and using her shades for her silhouettes. Brianna is a fifth grader at Indian Hollow Elementary.
Using a style known as pointillism, 7th grade James Wood middle student Eva Winston painted this beautiful image of a parrot. Carefully drawn in pencil first, she used hundreds of dots of watercolor paint to show the bright colored feathers. The dots blur together at a distance to form solid areas of color. Introduction to drawing and painting student Alyssa McGuire studied the elements and principles of design along with color before completing this combination color pencil and graphite leaf drawing. Alyssa completed separate drawings of numerous leaves for this assignment, ultimately using a wide variety of leaves both in graphite and color pencil. She then shaded the background a contrasting color to enhance the leaves. Alyssa is in ninth grade. Second grader Faith Baker Long used clay to create a three-dimensional pumpkin. She rolled her clay into a sphere and then added texture and patterns to her pumpkin using wooden tools. She learned how to scratch to attach the stem to the pumpkin. Once the piece was fired, she mixed the primary glaze colors to create the secondary colors for her pumpkin. Faith is a student at Middletown Elementary. The students of Select Art Foundations learned about still life and observational drawing for this project, as well as exploring the movement of surrealism. Students were challenged to draw not only what they saw from observation, but also incorporate imaginary or surreal elements into their pieces, as Brodelin Ireland did in her piece, which she titled Small. Brodelin is in seventh grade. For her Zentangle, Michelle Telles combined pen and ink with watercolors to create a whimsical themed artwork. To begin, Michelle practiced her pen and ink skills and created patterns with different values, which she added throughout her drawing. To make this drawing even more unique, Michelle finished her project by making it three-dimensional, creating depth and bringing her drawing to life. Genevieve Moore, a first grader at Orchard View Elementary, used her observational drawing skills to carefully study the shapes of the fruit in the basket, taking note of which pieces were being overlapped. After drawing the fruit in the basket, she added a patterned tablecloth, a window, and striped wallpaper. She then used her knowledge of primary colors to bring her observational drawing to life. Kaylee Williamson is a student at Admiral Byrd Middle School. She demonstrated her ability to contour and recreate values in this watercolor painting done in her Art One class. Senior Caitlin Duncan from Sharando High School drew this pencil self-portrait using value shading. She showed not only her personality, but was able to show off her many interests as well. Fifth grade students at Redbud Run Elementary studied proportions and symmetry of the human face. Blending with colored chalks, they drew self-portraits and then created a background of their choice. Kelani Roach put herself in a tropical setting, calling her picture a sunny day at the beach. Quetzali Angel Perez used glue to create an outline and pattern representing radial symmetry. Once dried, she implemented chalk pastels using the blending technique to create an interesting mandala-inspired design. 
Quetzali is a seventh grade student at Frederick County Middle. Drawing 2 student Kirsten Rose completed this realistic drawing of a soda can and a candy wrapper. Kirsten used her knowledge of color pencils combined with the elements and principles of design to finish her drawing in a realistic manner. Kirsten added a faint white background around the items in her drawing to provide contrast and to emphasize her subject matter. Second grader Kaylee Valadares Alvarado created an observational drawing of a pumpkin while also learning how to create the secondary colors by mixing them on her own. After painting the pumpkin, she created a background using chalk pastels. Kaylee is a second grade student at Stonewall Elementary. Students exploring art in sixth grade use additive and subtractive clay hand building techniques to create ceramic monster sculptures. This pair by Jaden Payne Daniels exhibits skill in both of these techniques. Jaden is a student at James Wood Middle. Morgan Keady used the contemporary artistic concept of appropriation to create a collage about the theme of unity. Morgan included images of a variety of different people and juxtaposed them to show that different doesn't mean separate and to get the viewer to think about unity. After creating her collage, Morgan used a grid system to draw her collage on paper. To finish, she used pen and ink to make patterns and textures to create value. Sixth grade students at Ayler Middle School practiced observational drawing using the method of blind contour. McKenna Blair created hers by drawing the faces of her peers without looking at her paper or lifting her pencil. She used her knowledge of the elements of art to add color value and visual texture, creating a piece that exhibits good composition and unity. Emily Rittenauer, senior at Sharando High School, used dried flowers and watercolor to make this flower painting appear almost as real as the actual dried flowers. She achieved this effect by carefully observing and reproducing color, darks, and lights. Frederick County Public Schools celebrates the arts throughout the year with a variety of art shows, concerts, and dramatic performances. Please join us as we honor our students' accomplishments by visiting any of our elementary, middle, and high schools for these events.